going on, people? It's your boy Kai. I'm back. German Voice video blog, episode 75. We back at it again. The camera was down. My camera broke, so I haven't been able to put as many blogs up as I would have liked to. But, you know, we're back. We make it happen when and where we can. Uh, welcome. Welcome back. Uh, first and foremost, man. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's been giving me so much support with the campaign. The campaign is going lovely. You can still hit me up at electkai at gmail.com if you want to continue to send your support, send your nominations. I just dropped the mixtape uh, campaign season, soundtrack to the movement. That's been going great. Got a lot of great responses and feedback from that. There's so much stuff we got going on with that. So I just hope that y'all continue to stay tuned. Germanvoice.com is the website. Uh, Killer Cop Music, Killer Cop Music at Twitter. You can follow me. Um, man, we've done a lot, man. We were the Law Gang, LG's up, man. Forever Hood, you know, Dripping Voice. We were the first cats ever to freestyle live on 107.5 WBLS. Ever. First cats to ever freestyle live on BLS. That's big. And we was the ones to do it. So LG's up, Forever Hood. You already know. Shout to uh, DJ Molly Mall. Shout to the legendary Roxanne Shante. Um, they showed us much love. We went to his birthday party at Cielo. That was crazy. Corey Gunn, Sirius Jones, you know, the whole Def Jam was in there. It was, it was, a, it was a beautiful thing. And a lot of great things have been going on. Shout out to Ralph McDaniels and the MC to MC TV show. That's going to be coming to you real soon. I'm just blessed, man. I feel very blessed because all the great things that's been happening. But, um, aside from all that, I want to go in about Tyler Clemente, the student from Rutgers that was unfortunately, uh, led to commit suicide a couple of days ago, jumped off the George Washington Bridge because of his dorm mate, his roommate in his dorm, tormenting him by putting his sexual escapades with another male up on the internet for the whole dorm and the whole university and the whole world for that matter to see if they choose to, which is pretty disturbing. Like, you think it's funny that you're taping that, but you're watching it, so whatever. But um, it's really sad, man. It's really unfortunate. Those of you that don't know, check out Mimi's mini blog. You can find out exactly who Tyler Clemente is, find out exactly what happened. He was from Rutgers University. He committed suicide because he was tormented by a dorm mate. And um, I just came to tell y'all, man, you have to be really mindful and careful what you do and what you do to other people. Now, this kid or these two kids that, that put it on the internet and that were streaming it, I mean, I'm sure they didn't, if they would have thought that he would have committed suicide, they wouldn't have done it. But even still, you have to be very mindful and careful what you do. You have to be very careful the actions that you do. Like, they're in college. They're smart people. So they should have known better. I'm sure they, they should have known better than to do it. But even if, like, come on, people, people, people. There's different people. Look at me. I'm black. Some people, you know, I'm there's gay people, there's straight people, there's black people, there's white people. We're different, you know? You have to learn to work with people's differences. You have to understand that sometimes the actions that you do, the things that you do, because you may think it's funny, but like with Tyler, it shows that he committed suicide because he was already uneasy with who he was as a person. And now that the whole world found out who he was as a person, he felt so embarrassed that he felt the only, way, the only thing he could do was kill himself. Come on, man. We have to be a lot more mindful of what we do to each other. But another thing I want to talk to you about was cowards, man. These, these, these cowards, you know. For the last couple of weeks, I've been sitting back and watching all these people come out against Barack Obama. My man, my boy, President Barack Obama, saying, oh, I'm tired of defending you and, oh, all these things that you're doing. Listen, man. Listen. There are people that voted for George Bush in 2000 and in 2004. And arguably, and I believe so, George Bush is probably the worst president to ever touch down in the United States of America, ever touch down in the White House. But there's people that still defend him, still ride with him. You know what that's called? That's called loyalty. You know what that's called? That's called standing behind your candidate, standing behind your, 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 your person through thick and thin. And he was the worst. You got these little, uh, for lack of a better word, you got these pussy, 
You got these pussy ass dem Democrats, these and they running around, they scared, they don't know what to do, they don't they don't know where to turn, and they just bashing them for, for stupid reasons. Y'all need to stop being cowardly, stand up, weather the storm, grow a backbone, and stop with all that. And you know how I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to you all the way real and all the way straight. I stand behind him 110%. I think everything that he's done so far is remarkable. Anything I don't like about it that he did, I'm not going to go out on no national TV. I'm not going to go out on this blog, and I'm not going to blast him about it. And if he's wrong, then yeah, I'll say he's wrong because nobody's perfect. And if he make a mistake, God knew he was going to make that mistake because nobody's perfect. But at the same time, I'm not going to blast him because I stand behind him. That's called loyalty, man. That's called weathering the storm with somebody. And that's a lot of problem with our people, man. Y'all's crabs in a barrel. Pulling each other down. Y'all don't have no unity. And it's disgusting. And y'all disgust me. Look at y'all, man. I don't even know how y'all face yourselves in the morning, man. No, 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 no loyalty. No unity. I could go on and on about that. But I'm not. Because there's so many great things that's going on with Jurban Voice. There's so many great things. The campaign, please, I need y'all to hit me up. Electkai at gmail.com. Electkai at gmail.com. We're going to get, and a lot of people have been asking me, yo, Kai, you running for office? You doing this? What are, what are you doing? What's going on? I'm going to explain to y'all exactly. I'm going to try to say it in, in the best layman terms I can. I'm not running for mayor. I'm not running for governor. I'm not running for president. I'm running for community spokesman. What I'm trying, and it's not really an office that you hold. It's not like a, a, a real elected office. Per se. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build the coalition. So when things happen, like the unfortunate situation that happened at Seton Hall and the unfortunate situation that happened down in uh, Franklin, and when just unjust things and just crazy things happen to you know, us and, and our community, I want us to have a coalition in place where we can, where we can do things. Like when we did the... Uh, for the back to school for the kids in New Brunswick, New Jersey. We donated so many school supplies. People donated t-shirts and clothes. So much love. And there's so many great things that we can do. And it don't it doesn't take, you know, uh elected officials. It doesn't it doesn't take the mayor. It doesn't take, you know, the governor to do these things. It doesn't take the guy Zuckerberg from Facebook, which was a good look. Don't get me wrong. That was a banging look for Newark, and that is so remarkable. But it doesn't even take that. It just takes us as a community pulling together and making things happen for our community. So that's why I'm trying to be, I'm trying to lead this organization and this coalition, but I'm not going to be the leader of it. We are going to do everything that we can do to make things happen. And that's going to that's gonna happen again. Coming up, we're going to do the big Thanksgiving food drive, can drive, just like any other drive, just like anybody else that does it, but we're going to do it. And we're going to make sure that the food gets to the people that it needs to get to. The supplies. It doesn't have to always just be food. Whatever you want to give to help because, you know, the, the weather's changing. It's getting cold. Let's help people, man. That's what I'm about. I'm about helping people. I'm about reaching my hand out and trying to do whatever I can do. Even if it's a dollar for the vending machine. I got you. I try to anyway. So, you know, like I said, the camera's broke, so we've been a little sporadic with the blogs, but I'm a little everywhere right now trying to get my feet back wet and what I do. But take what I said, man, and if you don't take nothing else, just remember these three points. Number one, watch what you do and watch the way you treat other people, because what you think is funny or a joke could result in something really tragic for the other person. Like, they could even commit suicide. And from last year with my friend, God bless the dead, Sean Hocutt, I know how that can affect the people around him. Because they're left asking questions of why. Because of something that you did as a joke. Number two, if you stand behind something, if you stand behind a cause, a person, an organization, anything, when the, when the road gets rough, don't pussy out and run away and try to act like you're not... Yo, stand firm, be loyal, stop being cowardly. And the third thing is continue to follow GerbanVoice.com each and every day. It's your boy, Killer Kai. Do or die, GerbanVoice.com, LG's up, Featherhood, Money Mimi over there, doing what she do. Her blogs is on point. She reporting on a lot of stuff. She reporting on just as much or more than me. And and, and this is how we doing it. So I'm, a, I'm on the IMAX, so that's why I keep looking down, looking up and looking down. It's L. It's my sister-in-law's. It's, it's off the chain. I want to get one. So um, holla back.